If you are planning a trip to the beach this summer, listen up. Scientists are worried abnormally warm ocean waters could make for a very active hurricane season. Next, weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso spoke to a hurricane expert to learn what's going on. It's another round of records broken. This time, it's water temperatures in the Atlantic Ocean. It looks like it would typically look like in late June, early July, and it's not, of course. It's the first week of April. <laughs> Those extremely warm waters, ongoing for nearly 13 months now, could cause big problems come hurricane season. That water acting like fuel for the storms. And so, what implications does this have? Does this mean an earlier season, a longer season, more intense storms? I would probably go with all of the above to some degree. Brian McNulty is a senior research associate at the University of Miami, focusing on hurricanes. He says the fact we're transitioning to a La Nina, which tends to increase hurricane activity in the Atlantic, doesn't bode well for the outlook either. Those two combined really haven't happened before. I mean, yes, we've had La Ninas and we've had some warm times in the Atlantic, but the ocean has never been this warm in combination with a La Nina. <laughs> if you are planning a cruise or a trip to the coast, he says it's important to stay on top of the forecast and listen to local officials in the event of a storm. But even here at home, if the track is right, there could be some impacts. The rainfall from these storms can be a problem for many days after they make landfall. And so, yeah, that, that enhanced moisture that travels along with what was a hurricane can reach quite far north. Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News. Meteorologists at Colorado State University released their hurricane outlook this week, predicting that the season will be extremely active with 23 named storms. And NOAA will release its official forecast next month.